Okay, so now that we've talked about what exercises we use, we need to think about how we organize them into a training program, or what is the starting strength novice progression? It's very simple. It's two workouts. That's right, just two workouts. Take everything else you have, your templates, your magazine workouts, your eight weeks to eight abs and all that stuff and toss it. Because if the goal is strength, then it should be very simple. We know we got stronger if we lifted more weights. So what does it look like? First, you have workout A. Workout A is the squat, the press, and the deadlift. The squat, we do five reps for three sets after warmups, which we'll get into later. The press, five reps for three sets. And the deadlift, five reps for one top set. This is workout A. It may not seem like a lot, but what you'll find if you're doing this correctly is that if it's heavy, and challenging and difficult, this workout will be more than enough stress to drive adaptation for the next session. When's the next session? We'll go more into detail on this later, but about 48 hours. So let's say you do workout A on a Monday. On Wednesday, you should be coming back to the gym to do workout B. The only difference between workout A and workout B is we alternate the pressing exercise. Whereas on workout A, we did the overhead press, Workout B, we do the bench press, and that's it. Now, why does this work and why is it so effective? Because what we're going to change isn't the movements. We know these movements train the most muscle to the greatest range of motion and allow us to use the most weight. We already know that. So what we wanna change is the load. If the weight is going up, I now have proof I'm getting stronger and it's adding stress each session to make me stronger for the next session. Remember, I don't get stronger from working out and being in the gym, or from working out in the gym. I get stronger from recovering from what I did in the gym. So each workout is applying a stress for the next one. Now, the deadlift will be the first time we add any variation to this. Because the deadlift is a relatively short range of motion, just picking it up off the floor, and because you're able to use so much weight so soon, meaning if you're a person just getting started, you'll find that your deadlift is your, your heaviest exercise, then it can become too stressful to do every session. And so the first variation we add into this in terms of exercise selection would be swapping out the deadlift for either the power clean or the barbell row. And this is what we would call phase two. Maybe you're a month into your training, your deadlift's gotten over body weight, but you're starting to feel some fatigue each time you go into the next session. It's time to start alternating the deadlift with another exercise. We like the power clean. If everyone's healthy, has good shoulder range of motion and all that stuff. If not, the barbell row is a fine exercise as well. That is the starting strength novice progression. Now, the stronger you get, the more variation that's required. But remember, back up. You wanna be here as long as possible. If every time you're coming into the gym, you're putting more weight on the bar, you're getting stronger. So variation's not what you want. You, wanna, you want facts, you want proof that you've lifted more weight. So who wants to be a novice? You do, because that means you get stronger each session. Now, let's talk about what that means. What is adaptation and why this program works?